Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. Going to be installing the uh, American Aluminum canine cage in my 2009 Ford Crown Vic P71 Police Interceptor. Crazy thing is, this cage, if you haven't seen past videos, uh, this cage came from Detroit from the same year Crown Vic is the one I own. So my 2010 has Ray Allen manufacturing canine cage and they're awesome. Um, but definitely this one's gonna be a lot different to install. So this one will have, this right here is actually the split. So this will be a prisoner jump seat. I'm very curious to see how this thing is all gonna hook up. So we got the windows. Nice thing is, uh, big shout out to American Aluminum. So they don't make this stuff anymore. So I called them up, spent a couple of weeks contacting them. They gave me every, cause they did when I bought this, didn't come with any bolts. I didn't buy it from them. I found a Facebook marketplace in Detroit and I had a buddy uh, that shipped it out to me. I used U Ship, got it here, paid 200 bucks for all this, which is a lot of stuff. And I guarantee you it's nowhere close to that, what it was brand new. Uh, so cool thing, American Aluminum sent me a whole sheet of what all the kind of bolts, everything I need to do this and install manual that they dug out of their archives, which is amazing. They didn't have to do it. I didn't buy anything from them. They didn't have to do that, and um, so today's the day I'm gonna knock it out. So uh, I think I'm gonna do it outside actually because I think it makes it just a little bit more room. The garage, it's, it's a little messy. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's why th this is taking up a lot of room right here. So I'm hoping getting this installed free up some space. It's supposed to rain all next week. So some of the videos I wanna film in the garage, I wanna get more space. I did some like, a, a uh, different trans pan for my other Crown Vic. Uh, and that's on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Baywall. So it can hold another two quarts, aluminum one, and has a drain, uh, has a drain plug for the drain, uh, for the trans pan, which makes life a lot easier. Nice to have a couple more quarts. I use them for both for towing. They can tow over 4,000 pounds, amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, so check out that. I got a bunch of stuff that's specifically for that. I just installed this really cool rear camera that's for the rear, rear view mirror. Hopefully I have a video up soon about that. I'm gonna do a whole, I wanna get this one installed and I'm gonna install in this car, but I have my other car because once you put one of these cages in, there's no scene out the back. And this one is probably gonna be in lesser visibility than my other one. Um, so let's see how this all comes out. It's nice because if my other Crown Vic, I only can take one pass, but it's like a roadster basically. This is nice. I can have at least three people in there. Whoever wants to be the lucky person, sit in the back and hopefully you don't put a hole in your jeans because this is like like sandpaper. <laughs> I don't know. Who, I'll have to probably get like a pad or something to have somebody sit down on. Otherwise, it, it, there might be a chance that we might tear their clothes. Uh, and, and there might be a chance that somebody can't get out. <laughs> I was joking with my dad. I was like, oh, you come visit. I'll, I'll, I'll let you ride in the back. My dad's like, things I won't let him out. <laughs> so let's get this all installed. This is nice. It's a hot day, but it's really windy. So you can't beat it. So I moved the seats all the way forward. Uh, so I think the first step will be before doing anything is taking the seat out. Because I think at the end is when I'll be doing the doors. Because these doors come out. So there'll be a part drilled in here. I think this is from a previous um cage with these holes because see how they're already drilled i don't think we reuse these i actually think they come out i'll have to check the other car because i don't recall i don't know maybe it's part of the window they're on both sides they had to have been bars on this at one period of time so um i'm gonna take this out this out and start in the center i'm guessing and it's nice because i've already been i installed new vinyl floors well they were used so it's pretty easy. I mean, this thing's already not much effort. It was already not. I wasn't really putting in that good because I knew it's taken out. It's a nice shaped seat too. So the next is figuring this out. I guarantee it's probably bolted somewhere, hinged. I'll have to check the trunk and stuff. But the next step is getting this out. So this video is gonna be about like how you install this, I guess, as much as I can film. It's not like, in case somebody ever finds one of these, it's it's the archive that in the future somebody finds one of these cages, they can install it, you know, with bolts and stuff. There's some other, the hard thing too is once you install one of these cages, you're gonna lose all this access to running all this electrical. So there's some stuff I wanna run that I might run before I get to them. 
but the nice thing is this is two split sections so I'm gonna start this side out and probably take the seat belts out I don't know the other cage they left the seat belts in which I was pretty shocked maybe you don't take them out because they're all go way up in there it makes sense but it's time to knock it out pretty easy to remove this just this bolt there on the other side and then you lift up and you can fish it right through that uh, center seat belt something happened here too look how wet that is somebody somebody wet themselves <laughs> that's what it looks like I don't know unless that there's gonna be hoses in there first up they said I set the bottom pan in so I got that in there I think you're working your way is from where I'm going so the next step is you get 10 of these three four stainless steel screws I'll show all the bags of everything and 10 of these and I'm gonna screw probably into so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically seven. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think they're wanting to hook a couple hours. So we'll get this and then kind of work our way and figuring where it goes. But it's pretty, pretty nice cage. Pretty roomy though for a small little section for the dogs. I mean the dogs really will get a huge section and that little jump seat is pretty, pretty tiny area. When you really look about it, it's really nice. Um, nice setup. I'm not sure if this goes over this. I'm just kind of working at it and figuring out where I'm going as I'm going. Um, it seems to be stable where it's sitting here. Um, which, uh, we'll see how this all goes. It's going somewhere. It's it pretty progress pretty quick. Just putting two pieces in, it's moved pretty fast. So you use a 5 8 bolt right in the lower part there and then we're going to do them there and then we're going to the other prisoner side uh, pretty fast and that's what's next to bolt through here is what they're saying. This thing is actually quite fast to put together. I mean a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I thought this could be a day project but uh, yeah we'll really see how it's going to fit in here once I get the next big piece. But this thing is really nice. I like how it's painted black. It looks really sharp especially with the black interior. Looks really cool. I mean, I just can't wait till this gets there. And it's like, I got. I hope I got enough room, man. It's. I got the seat as far forward as it can go. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not gonna have a lot of leg room with this cage. I don't know. Accomplished. So I had a spare bolt this exact size. They didn't see the instructions. And one bolt I couldn't find it fast enough. This is probably it. They didn't say it in the instructions. So what I did, instead of just having a lap belt. Technically, we have over the shoulder belt using the belt from there. Will it work? I don't know. Is it going to be comfortable? The seat's already not that comfortable as it is. But I thought it was real crucial having a bolt in there holding this somewhat in place where we want to go. I'm waiting to hook a couple of these in there because I'm still figuring out where it's just basically. Well, I think that one might have to go through. I don't know. I'm waiting to see how everything else lines up and then start running them. Because you need one to pull it, put it there. And you got all these still. So it's getting somewhere. It's totally crazy. Looks so cool. Alright, so there's the front bolts that you use to mount there. And then there's one there. So this thing is like, it's on here solid now. Uh, and it looks like the next step is doing the canopy. I got the mat back in there. And, um,. I didn't put the mat on top of this because then I thought if I had to pull it out and clean underneath here, you wouldn't be able to do that. Maybe it's supposed to have the mat underneath it, but because it doesn't sit fully down, but I'm just thinking if you have it in there, you might not be able to ever pull it out if you wanted to. So I did it that way. Now let's do the canopy. One way to shut the door is you gotta take the door panel out because I pulled it in the garage. There's more light. They didn't have a bolt for some reason it wasn't fitting in so I luckily had some type of bolt that could fit into there It was a lot bigger Could have been when they took it out that they I don't know what But I got the whole upper part up on And then there's these longer Screws that you drill in one there one there that screws into the back of the the um, 
back of the car. And then I got this panel on. So what you want to do is have this forward out and then this inwards. Um, it's both in there. And then uh, next step is the plexiglass. And then, yeah, I think the plexiglass is the next, next route. Just trying to see how oh, man, something's supposed to go right in there. I think that's where the, um, the other piece bolts into there. So uh, tighten this down and then I'm uh, going to start working on the other end of the car. So got all the bolts there. Um, some of these bolts need two people and it was really hard doing it by yourself. Uh, so the next part of doing is going to be the doors. I figured to show you guys. So this goes on the other side. I'll see if I can squeeze in there. So we got the bolts there, that little panel. The only thing that's going to, so the, well, the only other thing I have to do in here is drill into these bolts in the floor, but I, I guess I know where it's at. So, I mean, I could do that before doing the doors. Make sure I have that folded in. Uh, but that's what's needed to be doing those. Um, I just like a little cautious drilling into the, There, I know there's nothing. I'm just afraid of drilling down below because that fuel pump's like right around here. Or the um, fuel filter's right around here. So, I'm just a little, a little careful of drilling holes. I don't think you have to drill like deep of a hole with that. Um, yeah, so we got got it all in basically. Got to drill the holes under there. And my other drill the holes through there. Got this pulled off, so I'm, don't think this comes through with the kit. So I'm actually kind of curious of where this is all gonna go, unless you just totally pull this thing out, is what I'm guessing. Um, I don't know. We'll get into the next step, doing the doors. There's going to be, I've done a lot of this today. I think the rest I'm going to finish tomorrow or another day. I'll be in the whole video. Um, but I drilled all in here. Here, got the door panel on. So that is all set. I may have put a dog in here already. So, um, yeah, it's a really nice, I mean, it doesn't move. I'll tell you the other brand I got. It moves around a lot. I mean, this is like locked in. The other one has a lot of play in it, but I don't know if you drill a couple other things that's missing out of it, it'll be a little bit more rigid. But this one is just like very solid. I mean, it's not moving anywhere. You wouldn't even probably hear it when you're driving. It's pretty amazing. No movement at all. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, nice, nice cage. So I'll have to figure out some way of modifying this to be kind of like the other part because otherwise he's gonna, he's gonna be somewhere where I don't want him to be. Uh, it was never designed for a dog to be in there. It's kind of like uh, you can, if you have to do this, I wouldn't probably throw them all in here. He's like, what's going on? So I removed the uh, plexiglass that was here. So when you're driving, there's air coming, especially for a passenger if I take somebody with me. And uh, and here's the pipe and rag now on the other side. So this this opens up, but you'd have to have the seat forward with doing it. But it also sees the height difference in there. This is basically coming almost up to the top. And the thing you gotta be worried about too, if you have a dog in there, there is a gap where they could get into stuff you wouldn't want to. 
I do like this option because it gives you, you can bring another dog with. But have a passenger. It gets you where you see where the plexiglass is. I love that there because otherwise it would be difficult to across. And uh, I think it's pretty much made for a dog to be scratching at it. She's like, so this is the whole thing of figuring out this. If you're going to have Willie in here because Willie will be wild. Somehow, this that's why I haven't put the screws in there yet because I'm debating about how to modify this to at least bring it up enough up. It's not about anything about visibility because I have this really cool reverse camera that's going to be back there. So it's not like I have to see in this section. And um, yes, this is the whole setup. I'm also afraid too when you have him in here that he could destroy these just chewing on them and then you're without seat belts. So it's one of those things uh, Willie likes to chew stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here that he would destroy. What do you guys think? Okay, what are we doing in here? Are we going somewhere? It's so interesting how different this is built, but this thing is so rigid. It's it's not going anywhere. There's just no movement at all. Even in areas that you should bolt down, I mean, there's a little movement, but I'm trying to figure out modifying it. Also, too, where you have the door lock, I had to cut it with a bolt bolt cutters um because there's no way of it clearing and i found that the easiest way i'm not reversing anything ever this panel was really easy to hook in even though there's a little bit of flex from however it was removed um but everything in here fit perfectly there's a hinge to it so you can unhook these two and then pull it up. well these three so you got one there and there and there and you can pull this up with it still be bolted on to clean the windows which is really nice and this is again where I showed you that part where I pulled out the plexiglass. There were all these bolts holding it in place and they're all pulled out. But I had to figure out what's going on. I might not do anything. I'm just not sure. But then, um, yes, yeah, so you have a, a little bit of a gap. I might have to tighten this screw. might have came loose a little bit. So I'll have to, I've already noticed this. So this screw I had to try to get in a little bit more. Uh, just little things you look at it after selling it. I'm actually really shocked as like the gap that's back there. You'd figure the cage would move farther back. Um, but when I was installing it, I couldn't get the thing to go any farther back than where, it, where it's at. Which if it did go back hmm, a little bit, would have made a difference on uh, leg room. But I was looking at the install thing. This is where it looked the best. And when you kind of look at it, it does. I mean, this is just some space of how it is. I mean, the good thing is, is where it's at. It doesn't, when the door shuts, it's not giving the dog getting anything. The other cage is a lot different. Uh, and I'll have to do a video showing these side by side. Because it's definitely interesting. I like how this thing's all black in here too. It looks really sharp. And yeah. So it looks like when they were installing this at one period of time, they were messing with different holes with fitment for some reason. Uh, this is the one I went with so I don't know. I don't even think that's original hole And has the same thing where it's hinged you can buy a Canine fan that would hook on the outside and blow blow your end to the dog But I have a system where I'll hook on where you hook into the vent and then it brings air in I haven't hooked it in because I might I might get two of them. I'm not sure maybe one I just don't know how much I'm gonna be home with a different dog in the car but It's kind of cool. It's having a whole different setup and there's a fair amount of room in here. You could easily put two dogs in here. I don't know about two large dogs, but a large dog and a medium dog easily have enough room you could fit two. It kind of looks more like it's set up for one giant dog. If you had a big giant German Shepherd, like I used to own, that's all would fit in here. They said they didn't sell a lot of these too. These were like special asked for, because usually somebody would want the whole entire thing. And when I found this, I thought it was just kind of cool because it does give you where you have a four-door sedan where you still have a, a passenger can be in the car. But really well built, for especially something that's, um, I mean, this came from an 09 Crown Vic the same year as mine. So you gotta think about 10, 11 year old cage. Uh, it looks in really good shape. Except for little things like this, this is just somebody who didn't do a good job on installing it is what it seems like here. But the nice thing when I bought this, 200 bucks, and you got a full out, uh, whole enclosure. It was a really cool find. It wasn't that much money to ship it to. I used U-Ship, and I had a buddy in Detroit 
uh, that picked this up and he put it on a pallet for me which was really awesome and um, I think the shipping was like three three seventy three twenty five three seventy five I mean when you're looking from Detroit uh, Michigan to uh, Myrtle Beach South Carolina into my garage on the pallet too with a um, lift gate for the um, semi truck trailer was a really good deal there were a lot of other quotes that were over like a thousand bucks with doing it especially even on you ship the nice thing there was a lot of people bidding trying I got basically the lowest rate possible and I looked out yeah so it installed perfectly fine it's just figuring out this piece I've seen it coming for sale uh, online so I'm just kind of hunting it I really liked it I like the other cage but I wish I could find another one of these American aluminum ones for the other car because this one's really rigid the only thing I have to say is there's a huge difference of where I'm sitting at inside the car the other car I have a tons of leg room it's not uncomfortable but I wouldn't be going on a road trip with this car it's like I'm really I think the other car goes goes more like this then this is kind of straight the inclines back so I probably have about like this much more it goes back which is kind of crazy um, and it's not installed wrong because if this was wrong it wouldn't be it's basically like a jigsaw puzzle so you start with one and then this was at it so everything is on or exactly how it's at oh, it's just kind of interesting that looks so cool the one thing you want to do too if you sitting in this is you do not want to shut the door unless you have somebody nearby they can uh i don't think i've gotten in this a couple times yeah i don't know what but it has like that sandpaper on there but yeah there's it's just a <laughs> just a metal it's, I wouldn't say this would be that exciting to me. It's, like, it's like an Uber pickup and be like this would be ideal for Uber like if uh, you pick up somebody that's late at night from a bar lots <laughs> of thing of them causing trouble be like it's I mean this would not want to be in a road trip I mean I got a fair amount of feet room but uh yeah, definitely, if you were stuck in this, I don't know how long you would actually want to be in this car being in the passenger seat. Definitely, like, some kind of memory foam pad that you could pull in and out and something made a little bit on your back. But it gives you the option still to haul stuff in here. Actually, I just picked up this, some stuff, and I had to put the spare tire in here because I didn't have enough truck room. So it actually worked out perfectly fine. And it's, yeah, it's definitely a cool setup. Definitely different than the other one. And I like this that it is still a canine one, not just a typical uh, prisoner trans transport. I like it a lot. Definitely, definitely looks cool. But I won't say it more than once. If you have something like this, you obviously know that the car stock didn't have the, um, you could open the doors from the inside and it didn't have power windows. The other thing too, that's something else that's really important. So when you install these, um, you'll have the window switch that you can pop out of the door panel and what happened is when I originally filmed this because this is a couple of weeks after I've made this as part of this video and I went to go pull it out and I had the windows down I couldn't roll the windows back up so what I had to do is I think this side I didn't do yet so it was that side was always done in the original part when I was filming the video so I had to do because I had to leave the car outside I had to take all that back apart off and then uh figure out that was the issue because I'm like how did the windows not come up so you actually have the window switch is in inside there and it just needs that module even though it doesn't work to bring the windows up and down it needs it to control with the ones up front to let the windows down which it was like kind of I was really shocked it kind of makes sense but that's something it did not say in the owner or the manuals installing this I mean technically you could get out of this if you were in this the windows were down you just have a screwdriver and you pop that and you open up and i think i could squeeze my body out of there with the thing i don't know i really don't i don't once the door shuts you'd probably be even lesser room like i'm in this and i'm like 5'11 so it's it's definitely a squeeze my my parents are coming to come down and visit and i joked around with my dad i'm like 
well, we, you know, they're going to rent a car. I'm like, well, you guys got to go drive around. The, the This is the only car I could take both of them in there. Anyways, he's afraid that if I let him in this, uh, I won't let him out. <laughs> I would obviously let him out. I mean, that's like, I'm not a mean person, but I definitely can see when you're going in a car and you're like, once the door is shut, you're depending on something else to let you out. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, but if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, do check out the I'm Beowulf merch at I'mBeowulf.com. Also, do I have an Amazon store with really cool stuff. Make sure to check that out at Amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Be driven to win. And I hope I find this video that some people may... You really can't go out and buy one of these. Um, but... It's cool archive. Sometime in the future, somebody stumbles upon one of these cages and go, how do you get installed? Special thanks to American Aluminum. Because if they did not send me to find out what bolts, I don't even know how I would got it together because I would have no clue what to do to install it. The manual that they sent me did help a little bit with getting it. There was some of the bolts that I used that um, didn't even use, which was really weird, um, but it said in the thing they had, but I had a lot of bolts, a lot of bolts left that like there was nowhere to put them, which was kind of weird, but you know, it's what it is. Um, but special thanks to them. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.